We are starting now to get a look at the damage left behind by last night's severe storms. And sadly, this left one woman dead. Yeah, as we mentioned, that was in Rutherford County. As we get a look here, uh, that is where we find this morning News 4's Brittany Re Bethany Reese, excuse me, Bethany uh, this morning new to the News 4 team, but she's out there surveying some of the damage, getting a look at this. It's still dark, Bethany, but what are you seeing? Yeah, now crews have told us, Chris, that they're going to wait till daybreak to really get a look at this damage. But right now they're making us stay at Christiana Elementary School because the roads are still filled with debris and they're just working on seeing what the damage really is. That's why we're not out live at a scene where damage is. But we were out there earlier before we got pulled back and got some video of the damage we're seeing. Now one woman has died after her house did collapse. We also know a mobile home toppled over and when crews said they arrived, it looked like it had been cut into pieces. Another house caught fire because of lightning in the attic. Now luckily that family was able to make it out of the house. Another family on Jones Road took us around and talked to us a little bit about the damage they were seeing. Yeah, the, it, it sounded like a train. Uh -huh. It did. Um, you know, just loud and and we knew something was uh, something was close and we didn't realize how close it was until we went outside and of course I mean like I said we were just so lucky blessed that uh, it could be a lot worse yeah and that family said they were able to seek shelter after they got an alert on their phone from the Rutherford County alert system so they got that text message and were able to get shelter before the storm actually hit. Now, some of you are worried about making it to the polls today. Now, crews have told us they are letting local residents come out of the house to hit the polls for election day. We'll have updates on the damage as the sun does come up later on this morning. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, Rutherford County just hit so hard last night. Uh, Bethany Reese there breaking from overnight. We're beginning to show you new photos from the storm damage that have been coming into our news from this morning. Yeah, some of you have been sharing those mm. with us. Uh, you know, News 4 meteorologist Dan Thomas joining us live in the studio. Uh, Dan, you've been here all night watching yeah. this. What did you happen to see out there in Rutherford County in Christiana? Christiana was very concerning because we saw obvious rotation. We talk about wind blowing toward the radar shown here in green. So it's moving northbound and wind away from the radar in red. So those came close together right uh, next to one another on Midland Road. Can you make that out? This is Midland Road right here. So where it touched down and we had very obvious tornado debris suspended in the air. This could have been pieces of homes, chunks of roofs, large tree sections just blowing through the air as it moved off toward the east. Another one touched down suspected, not confirmed yet, but suspected radar confirmed as to what we're calling it. Southeast of Manchester on Interstate 24 right here. It blew a tractor trailer over, sent it down an embankment. Another tractor trailer collided with a truck because of that wind caused by that. And then it moved on toward Colmont in Grundy County, causing additional tornado damage. You can see that debris lofted there too. Lawrence County, lots of wind damage. Notice this mobile home blown over. And notice where the National Weather Service will focus today and tomorrow, probably Rutherford, Cannon, Coffee, Grundy, Wayne. We may have to add Lawrence and Williamson counties to that list. A very busy week ahead for folks surveying tornado damage. Back to you.